I'm Rob Cardwell. Here's some of the day's top stories. We have a crime alert out of Chesterfield where a high school teacher has been charged with assaulting one of their students. On November 3rd at Thomasdale High School, police say 65 year old Mark Bowles kicked a male student in the lower leg and intentionally stepped on his foot in the classroom. Police tell us school administrators reported the incident to them the day it allegedly happened. Chesterfield school spokesperson Sean Smith tells us that Bowles will not return to the Chesterfield schools while the court process plays out. Richmond police are in the middle of a death investigation in the Fan District. Police saying officers were called to the 2300 block of Floyd Avenue just before 830 last night. When officers arrived, they found a man with a gunshot wound inside of a home there. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Crime Insider sources are telling our John Burkett the shooting appears to be a homicide. In the meantime, anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers, that number on the bottom of your screen. And now here's Tom. All right, thanks, Rob. We've got morning rain in the forecast and then some afternoon clearing. It's going to be a cold, windy day, especially once that drier air settles in by this afternoon. Rain showers possible through the morning, and then, as I mentioned, some clearing takes place. Chilly, windy conditions, and tonight will be clear and cold, dropping back into the 20s. And then our next rain chance appears to be Sunday. There'll be a strong cold front coming through, and that'll bring a line of showers and potentially some strong thunderstorms with it. There's Sunday right through the afternoon and evening hours and then that'll move out by very early Monday morning. Look at that behind it, some snow, which signals some pretty chilly air will be settling in then by the middle of next week. 48 breezy today, morning rain, afternoon sun, 50 tomorrow, partly sunny skies. Friday 58, so a little bit of a warm up back to the 60s by Saturday. And there's that storm system we'll be tracking for Sunday into very early Monday. And then the chilly air settles in Monday into Tuesday of next week, back to the 20s at night. From CBS 6, the Weather Authority, have a great Wednesday.